Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today and welcome back to another episode of what's going on at Brighton Live Albion. Today was shirt launch day uh, for the Brighton home shirt. We still have to wait for the away shirt, um, but you all know what it roughly looks like anyway, but that will be hopefully in the next couple of weeks. Um, but as I said, today's the home shirt day. Um, a lot of people thought when we first looked at it that it did look like the uh, shirt from the 2017-18 Premier League season. I just grabbed that for you um, now before I get onto the new shirt. Um, but, you know, it's going to be obviously up to you whether you're going to buy it or not. So let's just get the first shirt that we wore in the Premier League. And uh, so here's the, um, oh, we'll get on camera view. It might be easier if I stand up. There's the, um, the first ever Premier League home shirt for the club. Um, you know, this is obviously, you know, a very good moment for the uh, club overall. So... When it first came out, that's what a lot of people thought, you know, with this new shirt, it looks very similar. Now, from the first our perspective, I would agree, it does look very similar indeed. Until you get the new home shirt and look at it close, there is uh, a lot of differences, or one or two differences in the new home shirt for the 2019-2020 Premier League season. Um here it is. Yeah, again, if I stand up. That is the front of the shirt. And that's the back. Obviously, this one compared to the other one. This one's white and the other one's blue. Um... But the most probably big difference is the arm sleeve. Um, there. Not sure if I'm doing it quite good justice. You should be able to see the black lines and even the black lines in the blue stripe. Um, but then there's also comes down to this bit. <laughs> I'll get around the end. Um, with the 1901 in the collar. Um, and then there's also, you got this yellow stripe um, on the back as well as the black lines um, on the back also. Um, if you want to buy this shirt, this is just a plain Brighton shirt. It's £52 for the adult. Um, kids obviously, I think it's like 42 But if you want uh, everything has to put on it, you are looking around about... 65 I believe 65 60 yeah I think it's 65 that's if you want a custom shirt um for example your own name and number if you're looking for a player's name and number it is a pound cheaper at 12 pound um but guys there's only one thing left to do now and that is to get me get, get me into the new Brighton Premier League shirt for the upcoming season um, before I do, uh, there's just 44 days before we kick off our pro season, so not long to go to see the players wearing this shirt, but as I said, let's get into it. And there you go, the new uh, Brighton Ove Albion shirt for next coming season. It's quite comfortable, um, you know, it's really relaxing inside. Uh, I like my shirt, it's pretty baggy, so I've got a lot of them. Um, but yet yeah, again, I suppose the players will have room when they're running, um, you know, playing for the club. The black sleeves, you probably might be able to tell a bit clearer now. Um, you know, that is different from the first ever um, Premier League shirt we've brought out. And um, the black lines as well on the blue, um, that's also a bit different. Um, and then also there's that bit on the back of the 1901 bit in the collar. Um, but the black, I really do like the black lines um, on the blue. Um, you know, I think the 
Nike have done a pretty good job there. Um, if I had to say anything about the design, uh, it would be hard to pick anything off. The only thing I would like to see, which I think is a bit possible, yeah, no, nah, I'm gonna happen. I forget that. Um, but yeah, you've got the dark lines on the shoulders. Um, but guys, the Premier League season's nearly here. Uh, getting closer, closer by day by day. Um, but yeah, all round pretty comfortable. Uh, well worth the money. Um, as I said, the Norway shirt should be out in the next couple of weeks. Yet again, I'll do another review on that. If I had to give Nike anything out of 10, I'll probably give him a 5 or 6. I highly recommend this shirt. Uh, if you remember last season, I didn't really go much on the home shirt. But it grew with me over time. But this one I pretty have grown into from the start. So I'm looking forward to the boys wearing it. Um, but guys, anyway, I'm going to end this video here. Guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.